Poland is open for travel and tourism once again. The Polish government is opening its borders once again. This time, travelers from the US, Canada, and other countries are allowed to enter Poland. As the EU introduced a mutually recognized COVID passport, the EU Commission also recommended that more third country nationals be allowed to enter the EU. Following the EU's recommendation, the Polish government announced more countries are now permitted to enter Poland. In this video, we look at the opening of the Polish borders, after months of closures and restrictions, following the pandemic fallout. We will also discuss how you can skip the quarantine measures. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click that bell to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below as it helps to support our channel. Oh, and don't forget to check out our website at immigrationandmigration.com. This video is brought to you by IAM. We believe that travel improves and inspires you and the people around you. We help you travel by providing services which overcome barriers and frameworks that simplify and enrich your experience. We just happen to be immigration lawyers. So reach out to your IM visa coordinator when you're ready for your adventure or already on one and would like some assistance. Due to the pandemic, the Polish government has implemented obligatory restrictions on Poland's border. These restrictions limit foreign nationals' entry and dictate quarantine restrictions upon crossing the border. Travelers from EU member states or Schengen-associated countries are allowed entry without restrictions if they provide proof of vaccination authorized by the EU or they have proof of negative result to COVID-19 virus. All other travelers are required to stay self-isolated until they obtain a negative test result taken within 48 hours after crossing the border. As of the 19th of June, the following nationals and residents can enter Poland for non-essential purposes. Georgia, Japan, Canada, New Zealand, Thailand, South Korea, Tunisia, Australia, Israel, and the United States. Additionally, the following categories are allowed to enter Poland from any third country. Legal residents of Poland. Foreigners who are close family members of Polish legal residents. Persons holding a Polish card. Foreigners holding a permanent or temporary residence permit and those who have a work permit of Poland. Persons studying in Poland. Citizens of European Free Trade Association countries, European Union member states, and Switzerland, along with their family members. Citizens of the United Kingdom, Belarus, and their family members. Non-vaccinated individuals traveling to Poland from a third country are subject to a pre-departure COVID-19 test, either PCR or antigenic, taken within 48 hours prior to arrival and must self-isolate after arrival. Individuals who are required to stay self-isolated are allowed to skip their isolation if they obtain a negative test result within 48 hours after crossing the border. The quarantine requirement does not apply to individuals who have been fully vaccinated against COVID-19 for more than 14 days from the last dose of a vaccine that has been authorized in the European Union. Children under the age of 12, traveling together with their parents, who have been vaccinated against the virus or can present a negative test result, are also exempted. Those traveling from India, South Africa, and Brazil are not eligible for quarantine exemption based on a test performed within 48 hours after entry. This possibility is allowed only after seven days from entry. It has been announced that unvaccinated travelers from the United Kingdom to Poland will have to undergo a seven-day quarantine period 
unless they have a negative test result not older than a week. A decision has been taken in the matter of quarantine for travellers coming from Great Britain, intended to reduce the risk of transmitting the Delta coronavirus variant from the affected area, Health Minister Adam Niedzielski said in a statement. Poland is already connected to the EU gateway and has started to issue EU digital COVID certificates. The approved vaccines by the European Medicines Agency are Comanity COVID-19 Vaccine Moderna Vaxevria, previously COVID-19 Vaccine AstraZeneca COVID-19 Vaccine Janssen On the other hand, the following four vaccines are currently under rolling review of the European Medicines Agency, but a decision on their approval is yet to be taken. CureVac Novax Sputnik V. COVID-19 Vaccine Verocell. EU member states are obliged to recognize COVID passports only to those who have been vaccinated with one of the vaccines already approved by the European Medicines Agency. Only foreign nationals who meet one of the exemptions mentioned above will be admitted to Poland, even for transit purposes. Travelers attempting to use Poland as the entry point into the Schengen area must meet Polish requirements for entry, regardless of what permissions may have been approved by other Schengen countries. Travelers allowed to transit must remain in the airport non-Schengen transit zone while waiting for their connecting flight. Do you have plans to travel to Poland? Talk to us in the comments section below. If you have plans to travel, check out the deals we have found in the description box below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe, the UK, or the US, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. If you'd like to get more info on travel, visas, immigration, and citizenship, head over to immigrationandmigration.com for more free content. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates.